Hello friends, welcome back to online math hub. We have this problem right there to solve. So this is x power 4 plus x power 2 is equal to 30. So we want to find out the values of x that actually satisfy this problem. Okay, so we're going to be solving that in this uh, video. And of course, if you are new to our channel, do what to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and also turn on the notification icon so that if we release new content, you actually get to know about it. Okay, and of course, if you are watching us on Facebook, do what to also like our, our video and also follow us on Facebook and share the video to your friends so that they will also get to enjoy that. And of course, if you have any question, even in the course of the uh, solvings, you can always do what to drop it in the comment box and i will surely get back to you okay so having said that let us now proceed with this video okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna rewrite this x power 4 i'm gonna write it as x power 2 and then all power 2 okay plus then this we have x power 2 and of course it's equal to so what I'm going to do next is actually to set x power 2 to be uh, to be maybe another variable so that I can be able to find it more convenient to solve. Okay, so let me set uh, let x power 2 to be equal to m so that what I now have is I put m here, I have m squared then plus, okay, so this is m is equal to 30 okay so i'm going to bring the 30 to the uh, left hand side so that i have m squared plus m minus 13 is equal to zero so my job next is just to find out two values that when i multiply them it's actually going to give me negative 30 and then when i sum them it gives me positive one okay of course this is a quadratic equation which i can factorize and then the two numbers the two factors of negative 30 are just uh, six and then of course minus five so when you subtract these two numbers it gives you positive one and then when you multiply them it gives you negative 13. so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to write these as m and then plus six okay and then of course m minus 5 is equal to 0 so of course when you factorize it is it's actually going to give you this one that we have over here and of course when you multiply these two bracket it takes you back to what we have on the next on the previous line okay so moving on using the zero product rule you can see that m plus 6 is equal to 0 which of course implies that from here m is equal to minus six and then the second one here m minus five is equal to zero which also implies that our m is going to be equal to positive five okay so uh, but don't forget but well, we actually set our um, we actually set x for two to be equal to m we see that for m equal to minus six okay so we now have that our x squared is now equal to minus 6. Okay, so we're not going to take the square root of both sides so that we can find the value of x. So x squared, that is square root, is equal to plus or minus the square root of uh, negative 6. Okay, so that x is now equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 6. Of course, when you write this, this is actually going to give you plus or minus uh, root 6i, okay, or i root 6. So this is the first, uh, and of course, this is the first two value of x. And then we can now find a value of x for m equal to 5, okay, which is, which is, of course, the second value of m right here. So for m equal to 5. We want to find the value of x so that we now have x squared is equal to 5 and then of course taking the square root of both sides x squared square root is now equal to plus or minus the square root of 5 
okay which of course is going to give us that our x here that our x is going to be plus or minus root 5 okay so we are getting that the four values of x so let's just say x1 is equal to i root 6 okay and then x2 is equal to minus i root 6 and then x3 is equal to root 5 and of course the fourth value of x is equal to negative root 5 so these are the four values of x that satisfy this equation we are solving right here okay so you can actually go ahead to check it out and of course uh, let me have your thoughts in the comments so thank you guys so much for watching and i'm going to see you guys in my next video Bye.